Hello everyone, this is Pierre, your ChemDraw wizard, and in this video we will have a look at generic structures in ChemDraw and how you can use them to enumerate hundreds of molecules in a few seconds. Generic structures are condensed representations of multiple molecules that you can expand in one click. Also now, in version 19 of ChemDraw Professional, you can fill the inside of any carbon cycle with colors, and you can enumerate them in a more colorful way. There are multiple types of generic structures in ChemDraw, so let's start with the atom list. You start the text tool over an atom and type various atom labels between brackets, comma separated. You then select the structure and go to structure, expand generic structure to get a set of indole, benzofuran and benzothiophene. Then we have the variable attachment. You select specific carbons with any selection tool or you can hold shift and click on multiple carbon atoms. You then go to structure Add variable attachment, which will add a little star between the atoms. You draw a bond from the star with the carbon-carbon bond tool, holding Alt to extend the length of the bond and press 2O to add a COH group. Select the molecule and structure, expand generic structure, and we get 3 by 3 equals 9 structures. Next up is the label range. You start the text tool over an atom and between parentheses you type CH2, followed by 2 hyphen and 4, which makes it become a range. Select, go to structure, expand generic structure, and we get 27 combinations. Those three types of generic structures are available in ChemDraw Prime. In ChemDraw Professional, you get the R group table for more elaborate combinations. For this, you draw an R group table in which you draw the various fragments. You define a connection point, and the hotkey for that is dot or period, then draw the molecules. Select them, control, click and drag to duplicate, and modify the stereo center. Now we need to insert a text label on the molecule that matches the header of the R group table. Then select the molecule and the table, don't forget the table, go to structure, expand generic structure, and we get 54 combinations. Multiple R groups can be used with multiple connection points. For this, you can keep on pressing dot or period over a second atom, and this way you can enumerate all the possible enantiomers and or diastereomers for a given molecule. You enter the R and R1 labels on the molecule. You select molecule and tables, structure, expand generic structure. And then you can, for example, select all, control A and hit clean up multiple times to make your molecules look nicer. If you need to save and reuse all those molecules, you can save the document as an SD file and import that into another application like ChemDraw for Excel or Lead Discovery. In version 19 of ChemDraw Professional, you can work around the previously existing upper limit of enumeration of 500 and enumerate directly to an SD file. Bear in mind that process may take a while if you create a library of 10,000 molecules, so I'd recommend you do it right before going to lunch. Finally, in version 19 of Counter Professional, as we have seen, you can select any carbon cycle and fill it with the color of your choice. The toolbar is accessible in View, Other Toolbars, Ring Fill Colors. Now, one last time, select Molecule and Table, go to Structure, Expand Generic Structure, and we get a colorful chemical library. New in ChemOffice Professional 19, you have a PubChem safety add-in that lets you look up safety information coming from various sources. You can also copy the content of HNP phrases directly to the clipboard and paste them into a safety assessment or an experimental procedures. New hotkeys have been added in ChemDraw 19. You can follow the path above to find the new cheat sheet. And here are the new ones. So we have capital Z for azide, capital L for lithium, capital N for nitro, capital M for MGBR, capital H for CBZ, Y for Bach, capital Q for FMOC, and capital O for COOH. It's important to remember that hotkeys can apply to an entire selection. Here I have positioned myself over a bond and press 6 multiple times, then select all the bottom carbons and press 1, then bottom carbons and press 6, bottom carbons, press 1, bottom carbons, press 6, then you can select the top carbons and press 9, and why not select the top carbons and press F to make some very expensive graphene. Here's another trick for fun. We draw a C37 cycloalkane and we make it round by cleaning it up, but we can only make it circular by introducing a triple bond somewhere. Then the cleanup function will flatten the geometry around the triple bond, and we go back to a single bond by pressing 1 over the bond. 
Select everything and press 3 or A to sprout phenyl groups and press delete twice and we are left with a very aromatic ring, which in version 19 you can select and fill with the color of your choice. Also a recent addition, since Scamdraw 18.1 you can toggle the aromatic representation from Kekulé to Delocalized and Alt-K is the shortcut for that. Last part in the improvements for Camdraw 19, a new type of brackets is now available where you can enter either text, a repeat count or a range of numbers and get the corresponding molecular weight for your structure. With the text label, the molecular weight is unchanged, with the number it evolves and with the range of numbers, the mean value is used, in this case 4. In 19, a new feature now lets you define the average molecular weight for the structures between the brackets. You can mouse over the bracket and press slash, which will bring up properties windows where you can define the value of the average molecular weight for the part of the structure between the brackets. You can also right click over the text field in the upper right corner of the bracket and modify its value there. Lastly, what's always new with ChemOffice Professional is Signal's Notebook Individual Edition, which is your cloud electronic lab notebook with ChemDraw in it, and where you can record your chemistry experiments, copy-paste from ChemDraw, calculate stoichiometry and yields, do structure searching, share experiments, and take advantage of awesome functions like Autotext, where your procedure gets updated when you modify another field in your experiment. You can also attach any PDF and annotate pictures or any Microsoft Office documents, so be sure to check it out as well. That's it for this video. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, please share and look out for hashtag ChemDrawGifts on Twitter. Until next time, thank you for watching, and have a good one.